What a surprise that Axie Nutcracker is actually cracking nuts. Yes, she is actually living up to her name by absolutely devouring people and also as well crushing a few testes along the way. Yes, that's what I kind of like in girls. It's like, yes, they just love crushing your nuts along the way. And I gotta say, like, we all, like, one thing that I was actually generally surprised about is that we actually just, like, finished off the entire Kane fight straight away like we actually kind of like had this like go, just like complete throughout all of this and I was thinking like okay this maybe this like might be a, like a, a long fight or something like maybe this might be something important but no like I, he was getting his fucking ass handed to mind you there was like three people going against him you know you had Uri, Shirazu, Sasaki all of them going against him and one thing that was very interesting is that one of the people that saved like um Kane, I believe that uh, like name was like Matsume. Actually, had like a um, a Kagune that you can detach. That was one thing. Like it was like all bunch of fawns and stuff. And actually, was able to detach it to make a actual wall of fawns to protect to make sure that Kane got away. So I think like that. Not only have like the inspectors been evolving, but it's also been as well. The ghouls have been evolving. Well, and that's something I want to see. Like how much has they like progressed through like with their Kagune? It's like that's something that they're just like as Ayato evolved. Like maybe he's got like full wings now like maybe toka as well like yomo like that really interesting i really want to see like well, how much have they progressed is this something that they only discovered recently and i've got to say i feel really bad for that one inspector i'm sorry he was super relevant as well but just to show that this is how powerful like she is and saying yeah you don't fuck with her and she has like a combined type kaguna and she shows you know like she, i think she has a combined like, kokaku in addition to bikaku and she just crushes this guy's balls and just starts tasting the pet like tasting them is like yeah it's good for your waistline it's just like she's a fucking psycho she just starts off eating another bitch's face like straight out of nowhere it's like this is what the fuck we've got to do deal with it's like yeah it's like uh and Sasuke's like yeah i gotta regroup with bootski and shit and it's like you know like and no it's like yeah there's a few corpses lying around everywhere and basically you know we fucked up it's like, we really fucked up. It's like, you know, the ghoul has been actually, like, uh, with Nutcracker, she has been changed from an A to an S. She has changed to an S ranking. And I believe Jason was an S ranking as well. I'm pretty sure, like, Jason was S ranking, I believe so. I know Rize was, like, A? I, think, I believe Rize was about, like, an A ranking binge year. So that's very interesting to find that out about her it was like oh shit she's actually really gotten really strong and that makes me wonder is she perhaps like a cannibal type ghoul as well i mean we know she has a bikaku and uh, uh, kyokaku so that really does make me wonder what exactly you know what's gonna exactly happen with this so that really does make me curious about what's gonna happen throughout later on with like the whole thing going on with this chick and I feel like she's going to be a lot more to her story. I don't think this is just going to be the end of the seeing her in this arc. I think we're actually going to... She's going to be a more important role. And she's like... I feel like she's a replacement for Rize. We need that more psychotic bitch since, like, yeah. That was something that was kind of, like, missing from the series. Like, yeah, we had some psychos, like, Juzo and stuff. But, like, uh, especially for me, I fucking love, Ju uh, like, Rize to bits. I absolutely love her. I think she's a really interesting character. And, like, from the bits that we only saw of her, I feel like... This is a character that could be totally more fleshed out and have a lot more going on. And I feel that this is a, a great replacement for Rize. And that's just another thing that we need to be asked. Is like, what the fuck happened with Rize after everything that happened? You know, after all the crazy money, after they like, took her and like she went fucking crap, that she's crazy. It's like, what the fuck's going to happen now? Like, I'm really curious. So... Overall, this chapter had some pretty fucking good shit into it. It's like, you know, Sasuke but bonding more with the inspector saying, like, hey, you know, you did good, Mutsuki, and all that. It's like, um, hey, you gotta take care of that. And fucking early, this piece of shit, it's like, you know, he's like, oh, by the way, Mutsuki, and it's like, yeah, you're gonna be uh, getting a retreat here with Uri, and he's like, yo, what about my achievements, and all that. It's like, you know, he has a bad sense of direction. It's like, yo, fuck it. You know, you, we need someone strong to take her back and get her safety. And I'm like, this motherfucker, especially for what he just does, he's like, oh, I'm sorry. So I doubt he's going to, like, cut her up or anything or saying, like, okay, you can go fuck yourself. This is pretty much what he's going to do. He's pretty much going to abandon it. He's going to go into the fight. And honestly, if he early gets attacked in any way, if he gets, like, one fucking slash or I would, like, got killed, I would not mind at all 
what the fuck's going to be happening. But it seems like for what it was, because there was like a big map at the end about what was happening. It seems like, you know, Sasuke's group is going to be engaging with Tor... Uh, I believe it was Nutcracker and like and Kane escaped. And I think we like, apart from that, like we had a lot of shit. So I'm glad there was a lot of details having that since we had like... We have Mado squad still going against like everyone like they're like miser and shit like that. So it does make me curious and it's like I really do want to see more Imperial. It's like there's just so much and of course the chapter and Takizawa, like the fucking crazy fucker he is, just eating this guy's face and he's like, yo, this is so good, this is so good and just like two inspectors are just terrified. They're like, Oh my god. I, I, I genuinely want to see my kids right now. <laughs> like, can I say goodbye to him at least before I get destroyed by this crazy psychopath? It's like Takizawa, what the fuck happened, man? That's something we need to see. But overall, really great chapter. A little bit slow here and there, I would say that much. But it's like I think this was definitely a great chapter of Ghoul. Definitely going to give this one an 8 this week. So let me know in the comments section down below. Like, and remember, I'll see you guys.